I'm going to try something weird. So, I tend to like warm up and stuff. Is my camera fucked up? No. I like warm up a bit when I play Slay the Spire on days when I'm feeling tired. But if I went live with Slay the Spire, it would just alert people I'm playing Slay the Spire. And then I wouldn't be able to have an alert for when I go live with Kale. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play and just record a game of me playing Slay the Spire. See if it wakes me up a bit. And then, um... And then go live with chaos. Wait, this is the wrong fucking map again. God damn it. I played defect like 800 times. So I'm used to doing that one. Normal enemies are deadlier. Okay. Um, upgrade a card. Having eruption sheep is really, really valuable. Um, I don't really want to curse. I do have a shop early. Nah. Make eruption cheap. Eruption being cheap is good because you can use vigilance then eruption to get mana. <sighs> this map. Um, normally I like to go either all question marks or all rests. I mean a good combination of the two is obviously good, but I'm going up here. A shop if I have some gold then through here. Like it's the most dangerous path. Just so many elites, but uh I am a lower level of ascension. Elites are not as strong. So it should be alright. Although I am newer to this champion. Um, moving into eruption, uh, into wrath, would cause double damage there. But I can't kill him if I don't do that. Um, yeah. Then I will just defend and defend again. I was hoping I could kill him this turn, and I can't. That's most unfortunate. Maybe doing any damage at all was dumb? No, because I could have killed him here, hypothetically, if I drew any of those cards. But I did not. I wish applying calm over calm gave you mana for leaving calm. Because you do leave it and start another one, you know? Deal six damage, add a smite into your hand. It's two mana for 18 damage, which isn't very good. I mean, it's fine, but it's not great. But I guess it's usually when you want this is when you have synergy. A shuriken or something. Um, lucky coin. These cards that do nothing amazingly well, but just do a little bit of everything, I've never been a, been a huge fan of. So hopefully he does a smaller attack now. Yeah, he does no attack at all, which is good. And I got Eruption. Perfect. Um, I need to draw damage, though. Just two attacks will do me. There we go. If you are in Wrath, apply three Vulnerable to all enemies. Otherwise, enter Wrath. I don't know how much to value this. I mean, for the boss I'm about to verse, it's good. Like, you only, uh... Another, it's another way to enter Wrath. Really, I need other ways to enter Calm. Now nah, I'll just go Mantra again. Um, don't want to go to the shop. Do I want to curse? Because all this is, is you're paying... You get 125 gold. Uh, you get 175 gold. Then you remove the curse for 75 gold. So you're only getting 100 gold. But you're also having your card removal at the shop increase in cost. So it's like you, you get 100 gold, but your card removal is increased in cost and you can't remove another card. It's just not good. The only time you'd really want it is if you were hoping to get a really good relic at the shop, like a high quality one. Oh, nice. At the start of your turn, game one mantra. Well, I'm very happy I got a uh, prostrate then. Because we're definitely going into mantra. I mean, when would you not? Yeah, I guess that sometimes you wouldn't go into mantra, but it does seem pretty good. I, mean, I could have used miracle there. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I probably should use the miracle there. 
So I may as well kill the stronger one. Yeah. And just uh, defend out. Mantra this early, kind of pointless. Mental floss. Whenever you change stars, it's gained four block. Yeah, it, this seems better than this. I mean, sure, there's probably those decks where you stay in calm most of the time, but... Going mantra is not going to be the case for me. More mantra? Mm. I guess I just increase this. You get the most value out of powered, up, powered upgrades. Uh, not good for this fight, though. I guess I want to open with the Steeled Chaos. No. I'll put myself into Calm and do it next turn. So I didn't get Eruption, which was my fear. Okay, so I've boosted him a heap. I'm only doing a little bit of damage. Mistakes may have been made. Yeah, so hopefully I can kill him next turn. It doesn't look like I can. Uh, yeah, that sucks. Arguably, I should have just, uh... Nah, because defending would have made him stronger. Yeah, I, I definitely misplayed that. I'm new to the hero. Ignore me. Uh, I do need another way to gain Mantra. Sands of Time. Deal 20 damage. When retained, lower its cost by 1. No. Neither that. I just don't have many good damaging cards. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I will need to shop here. 175 gold is not a lot of a shop. Um, fairy in a bottle is nice. I can't afford. Uh, I can afford it with card removal, so it's probably my best move. The rest of these are pretty eggs. Panacea is interesting, but it'd be interesting if Panacea could eat fasting. Uh, like stop the gain one less at the start of each turn. It probably could and then that'd be a uh, interesting combo Interesting not amazing I guess I want to remove a defend here Like the main thing I'm trying to do is nuke down my opponents Getting into mantra. I need attacks for that. Ah uh, now, maybe he was optimistic when moving a defender. So this, this... Gave me extra block, because I used the power first, and I changed into Calm. This is all going to depend on what cards I draw and when. You see, like, yeah, this situation, for example, I can't use Eruption here. I'm just going to take 57,000 damage. Um... Go to kill the ones on the outside to desync them. Ah, I really need insight to draw me um, prostrate or prey, preferably prostrate. Oh, nice. Okay. So put myself into mantra to do extra damage. I can kill this one. I can't kill. No. <laughs> Then arguably I should have killed the one that was doing damage. I can't kill either, so... Um... That's interesting, when I leave Mantra, it gives me 6 block. Which makes sense, but... It's not something I thought on. Didn't draw any additional damage. Boo! Did that... 
Mm. When I go from Wrath to Calm, is that me leaving Wrath, six block, and then entering Calm, six block? I need to look at that next time. Uh, almost in Mantra again. There's Mantra, and he dies. Good, good. Every time you play an attack, gain energy. I mean, maybe a 10 attack, gain energy. It's, it's all right. I still haven't seen more of these mark cards. <sighs> hmm. No. So I do want to heal here. I don't want to, but I will. Especially with Regal Pillow. Remove a card from my deck, at least I can afford it. Yeah, I'll remove the strike now. Um, I always want to be greedy and transform a card, but no. Um, I'll remove a defend. It'll be, f I'll be equal with defends and attacks. Yeah. I do have nice potions, too. See, I'm getting eruption here, but not getting any attacks with it. I need the card draw. But the main thing is getting up um, the, the mantra to enter divinity. Yeah, so next turn... Yeah, so she use this again. So he's gonna wake up, right? Yeah. It's nice that you can retain the insight. Okay, so. I want to do this first. So that gives me six block, and then I prostrate, which puts me into mantra, give me another six block. Then I insight to hopefully gain some damaging cards. It's not ideal. It's 27 damage, but it doubles his attack. I can't risk that. That's depressing. I could probably... None of these potions are really particularly useful here. Yes, I'm putting myself closer to... Uh, Mantra again. I'm gonna keep the insight for when I enter Mantra. In case I don't have any attacking cards. So... I don't need Vigilance for the defense for Mental Fortress. It's interesting, leaving Calm and going into Divinity is actually 5 mana. Because you're leaving Calm for 2 and then entering Divinity for 3. I need to hope I draw the 2 strikes. True one. I mean, that's okay, I guess. Got another insight here. I should be able to kill him. It's hard to imagine they can't. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Wait, what? Huh. The strike did more damage than that. Well, that's disappointing. I may as well still do it. And just move into this. I mean, I'm blocking out fully, so it's not a big deal, but... I don't like misplaying, obviously. It's because I'm minus one strength or whatever, but... Oh, Shuriken. Every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain one strength. That's quite good. Dexterity Potion is... Against those guys. Yeah, I don't need the energy potion as much. Whenever a card is created during combat, upgrade it. That's so situational. Hmm. When deal four damage, whenever you scry, return this from your discard pile, I have no scrying. Whenever you change stances, return this from your discard pile to your hand. It's just not a lot of damage though. But I do have shuriken. 
Yeah, so this is good. Because I can use it to proc Shuriken to get more strength. Uh, what's this upgraded? Yeah, just six damage. Gross. Um, increases to Mantra. Are probably the best. I mean, uh, more block from Vigilance is pretty good. Uh, getting myself into Mantra fast is probably my best move. I mean, I could just rest here, but I don't think I need it. No, uh, Flurry of Blows. Uh, yeah, yeah. I do plan to use it quite a lot. So, like, Flurry of Blows, Vigilance, Flurry of Blows, don't have a third attack, which sucks. Hmm. Uh, Flurry of bro Blows I can bring back. There's no reason to use this first, but I'm going to use it first anyway. So Flurry of Blows, damage, damage. Almost at Divinity. I can put myself into Divinity, but I hope to draw damaging cards. I drew damaging cards. Uh, I want to use Eruption first because I'm going to lose it. Then I... Do I, I don't need more mana. No. So we'll... Yeah. The three mana I get from Divinity is sufficient for what I want needed to do. I could have done something else. That's fine. Do, 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 do. Can't go into Divinity. Uh, just a little bit more attack damage. I didn't get it. Uh, I may as well still split him. But I can't, so... It's kind of pointless to say. I'm fine here like this. There's no way I can lose. He says before he loses. I can put myself into Divinity here. Don't see why. Ah, oh, actually, no, I use Flyer Blows first. And then I bring back Flyer Blows with Divinity. I don't know if that mattered, but still best to play Opply. So, apparently, you play three cards and then you do 50 damage to everyone. Or I can get Devotion. I'm already going into Divinity very quickly. Is this too slow? Let me let me just look this up. See see um, Alpha card slay the spire. Um The eventual card is three mana, does 50 damage to all enemies. So it's basically just like a worse bomb. And each, oh, the first. The first one is two mana? Oh, that's terrible. So you pay one mana, then two mana, then three mana over three turns. I don't think it's terrible necessarily. It's guaranteed to be over three turns. I don't know. Devotion is a much simpler play. Yeah, just go Devotion. <laughs> Double the effectiveness of potions. I, mean, I guess that actually make Fairy in a bottle. Heal me for 60. I don't need more mana. With the changing, with, with how much I'm going into forms and getting mana and stuff. Uh, I, I'd actually like to double the effectiveness of potions. How weird is that? That's weird. <laughs> this chick has too easy access to mana. Maybe uh, it becomes an issue later, I don't know, but... Uh, the maps suck. Down here. So like, up here, through here for a late shop, two rests at the end. Not many rests in between. 
decent amount of question marks. Uh, going a shop here, up here. It's basically the same thing. Uh, I think there's more question marks here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Yeah. So go this way. Wish I had that card now that kills people who are under 30 HP immediately. I can do a sizable chunk of damage here. And I'm moving into calm next turn. It's probably my best move. And I can still do devotion. Yeah. I need to remember that I have to use a potion before I end up um having none to use. Oh shit, I didn't draw calm. I was relying on drawing calm. I mean, how could I have known? You know? Well, that's most unfortunate. Uh, I may as well do the damage here in the hopes of killing him before he buffs up again then. Freo doesn't affect Mental Fortress. Yes, we kill him. I mean, one hit is not too bad. Lucky Coin. I mean, it does work with Shuriken, but I don't think it's good enough. I really need that thing that exits my stance and allows me to draw cards. Uh, heal 24, I'll add a card to my deck. Guess I'll add a card to my deck. Hmm, didn't offer me the one that I wanted. Um. Reach Heaven helps with Shuriken, but not really. Gain six block if the last card this combat was a skill draw two cards. No. Um. And then if you turn shuffle an insight into your draw pile. Nah, it's too slow. I mean, if I had things that synergize with skills, then maybe. I always feel this just so slow. At least it would help with Shuriken having this. It does cycle itself. If I'm gonna pick up a useless card, I want one that exhausts. Cut through fate is not too bad, but I might end up just taking Tranquility here. Yeah. I mean, I could do Flurry of Blows again, but I just don't have enough ways to change stances. I have to pick one. Like, it won't let me out. Yeah, it sucks. It's not even upgraded. So, I can do a fat stack of damage here. But then I take... A fat stack of damage. Um, I need to use a potion. Nah, fuck it. Was that worth it? Oh. Game is not happy with me. Um, so we do the damage. Damage. Hmm. Should have used the miracle to defend there because he's about to die anyway. Or maybe he's not about to die. Really? Um, I can't go into the divinity. Do I just barely not kill him? I think I barely not kill him. Because I can bring back Flurry, but it's not enough. I wish I'd used Liquid Bronze. This, this, this. Oh, it's Enter Calm. Why did I think it was Leave State? Shit. Okay, I wouldn't have picked up that card. Read the card text, man. God damn. 
I might lose now because of that. That's awful. Um. I need more defense. But protect is such a shitty card. But I do retain it. Ugh. Pay all my gold? If I don't pay all my gold, I might die. Ah, oh, no, I've got- I, I just end up using all my potions. So I need to use this. I need to enter Divinity. I kind of want to do damage. This guy removes Dexterity. He's going to remove four. Can't kill him. I used to use the mana now to get the strength. Oh, he's moving two because we're at a lower level, of course. Um... Going into Eruption, and then leaving it with Tranquility, gives me mana. No, it doesn't. Because it's not me leaving Calm. I'd have to do it the other way to get mana. I guess I just defend. Hmm. I could I could do the I could have done damage there, but no. So hopefully I draw some uh, attacking cards here. I did, good. I'm about to enter Divinity. Um, no, I have no event in, in Divinity because I can't use it here. That's quite unfortunate. Um, so I need mana and defense. I still don't get enough mana. I'm weakened. Am I just dead? No. Maybe. I'm just gonna play it out and see what happens. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm one mana short. No, I'm actually damage short as well. Yeah. So this goes my bloody potion. Hmm. This is not going well. I'm still weakened. I can go into divinity here, which uh, may as well. No bear. Does he actually change anything after he screams no bear? Oh well. Um, battle him is really good. I definitely need damage. Battle him is the way to go here. Remove a card. Um, now that I have battle him, removing strike is good. Yeah. Um, I want this to be innate. I need to start with it. Got a lot of fights coming up here, and not a lot of uh, HP. So I want to use Battle Him here. The rest is fine. So we want to use Flurry first. I still don't know how his Enrage works with her. Then we do this to bring her back. Then we do this, and then we do this. Then we do this, then we do this. So I didn't need the miracle there. I'm frail now, which sucks. Uh, I have smites every turn. And I've attained them too, so I can hold on to them until I can do it with double damage. But they still do cost one mana. Um... This makes us some guaranteed to enter Divinity. Actually, I will enter Divinity immediately next time. Uh, I still have to take damage here, though. 
Hmm. And with two smites. So we got... Um... 39. Then strike. Then... Yeah. It's, battle him has definitely increased my damage significantly. Um... I've left chat on the uh, off-screen chat. Oh, well. Um, none of these. No. I still really need that card that makes me draw. And... Ah, oh, shit. Well, this could be death. I'm happy I've got a block potion for 24. So that he makes all your cards random. In cost. So, Mental Fortress is a must. Vigilance to get the extra block. Uh, Devotion is fine, I am blocked out. Do I use Smite here? I guess I want to use Smite when I can afford to. Or, do Retain cards have the same cost? Yeah, I think Retain cards must have the same cost. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, so, prost Prostrate. I always want to say Prostate. <laughs> um, it puts me into my God state, my Divinity state. Yeah, so I'll use Eruption first. I was going to use Miracle, but I actually had Numchaka go off there. Then I will... Oh, no, I should have used... Well, Flurry is actually really expensive, so I guess I won't use that. Then I'll move into this state. Maximizing the block. Then do the damage. Hmm. I guess I want to try and draw extra damage. I'm just a little short on mana, right? I may as well do this. I think I could have won that. I mean, if Flurry wasn't so expensive, I could definitely could have won it, but I, I think in a different order, I could have used Flurry once. That's what I want, Empty Mind. Yeah. Yeah. It's just so much better than Empty Fist. Old coin, gold. I'm about to go to a shop. That's very good. As long as I don't die in these fights. Which is not a guarantee. Hopefully I get the uh, thing that works with a uh, red mask. This is not very good. I mean, what, do, what am I trying to draw here? Nothing really. I could have used the miracle there. Hmm. Okay, so. I use. Flurry? Then. Vigilance? Then Flurry? Prostrace? Protected enough. I can kill him, but it makes his damage too high. Uh, his damage comes what twenty. That's not too much, right? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Uh. So I go into this form first. So I can get this back and attack. I've got Tranquility to move into Calm when I'm done here. I can't move into Wrath, uh, into Divinity. 
So we strike, get the extra mana from Nunchaku. Then move into Tranquility. Protect. I guess I use Prey here. I mean, he's, he's gonna die, but yeah, just to be sure. Good. At the end of your next turn, enter Wrath and draw three cards. Like, you just don't know what the next turn's gonna bring necessarily. It just seems so situational. Hmm. Well, this is not good. Okay, I've used my block potion at the exact right time. I'm using oh, using all the cards, it seems. I mean, it's good to start with the powers, I guess. But. So... Hmm, awkward. Very awkward. Like, Vigilance only gives two mana, so if I move out of it. So it's... So it's free in that sense. But it's... I don't want to stay in Eruption. I need to use Defend, though, to live. No, I don't, because I'm changing forms, which gives me more damage. More defense. So we just do the damage here. And then we Miracle, and then we this. Yeah. So I'm gonna move into Divinity here, but when? So I'm getting back Flurry. There's no time, but now I suppose. So we do the extra damage, extra damage, extra damage. Can't kill him though. Which is obviously unfortunate. I guess I do want to enter. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't really matter. More bank, that's awful. Because I'm about to enter a shop. I mean, it gets me 24 gold. Whoop the fucking do. Deus Ex Machina, when you draw this card, add two miracles to your hand. Like, it gives me mana, but it takes up a card slot, but it's still worth it. Definitely is. Uh, yeah. I'm not that desperate for card removal. Oh, and uh, as well, I've got armor on. M. M. Ori. Even without M. M. Ori, I would have taken it. This close to a shot. Uh, so I'm resting here, especially with a regal pillow. Um, whenever you... Whenever you shuffle your draw pile, scry three. That's quite interesting. Scrying is you can look at the top three cards and you can discard any of them. Interesting mechanic. Uh, Ragnarok is the clear go-to here. Affording it's going to be tough. Yeah, I definitely want damage though. Especially because I have ways to gain strength. <laughs> But it's largely a dead card a lot of the time. Um, the block is still important. With Deus Ex, now I can afford Ragnarok. Yeah, I'm mainly using Flurry of Blows to get Shuriken. Yeah, I should remove a strike. Meat on the bone, quite valuable. So is Battle Hymn, actually. Is another Battle Hymn too slow, though? Ah. I do retain the cards. Now we'll keep it. I'll take Meat on the bone. I'm just basically taking everything here, it seems. And 
fruit juice. Normally it wouldn't be worth buying fruit juice, but that I can uh, increase it by 10. And I am, he is verse, I am versing minions and I don't have AOE, so I guess I'll take the explosive potion. Yeah. Do I heal here or do I upgrade a card? There is stuff that's important to upgrade. Like this, 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 and this. I guess I don't need to upgrade Battle Him. Upgrading Empty Mind is important though. Although Empty Mind doesn't have as much value since uh, Vigilance doesn't give me um, three mana. Because this combo used to be free. I mean, you need the Energy Relic, but... Hmm. The heal here is significant. Well, it heals me full. Which is, uh... 25. No, 24. Yeah, it's probably worth it. I think at this low level of ascension, it, it's, it's just being... too cautious. So... If I leave Calm, I have no way of getting back into it. What power? Um, I've got two battle hymns already. I guess I want Devotion and just fly into Mantra like 87 times. Mantra, obviously. I don't think I can afford Eruption here. Unless I use my block version. Now we should have a very vanilla turn. So I'm in Divinity immediately. I can't perfectly kill these guys, which is unfortunate. Drawing cards, I'd leave Divinity, which is shit. I can use Insight though, but I need more card slots. Okay, so I got Ragnarok, which is obviously very good. Nothing cleanly kills anything. So I guess I want to use this first. Then Ragnarok. Um, then Devotion and then Defend a little bit. I mean, like, I can keep going with uh, entering Calm, then leaving it, and da da da, but no. So I'm getting five Mantra every turn for free. I want a decent turn here. I can't go into Eruption to use Ragnarok, so it's kind of pointless. May I just get this stuff out? Wait for next turn and use two Smites together. Yeah, it seems fine. He's debuffing me a lot here, though. Okay, so I have like 87 billion smites, but I'm weakened, which sucks. All this increases my strength, though. I'm gonna go into Mantra immediately again, so I may as well put myself into Calm to get even more mana. Still weakened. Uh, don't know if it kills him, but the damage just makes sense to do. Doesn't kill him unless I draw some damage here. Well, I could have used uh, explosive potion, so I was fine regardless. Hooray! Oh, deal 10 damage. If fatal, upgrade a random card in your deck. Wow. That's nuts. An upgrade a turn? Imagine getting that early in the game. Getting it now is kind of shit. I still think it's worth it. 
I'm assuming that's yeah, it's permanent. Uh, and the rest are, yeah. Ah. Uh, Having one additional mana would actually be really nice. Let's me do a lot more stuff. It's not super important. Especially when I have the potions. Small deck though is good. If I thought about it longer, maybe I could have made an argument. But no. Okay, so early shop. Um, late shop too, or I just go... I probably, yeah, but we'll go up here in another shop as well. Missing card upgrades, but uh, hopefully I don't need those. I could have skipped this shop, I suppose. Okay, so they're not attacking, which is nice. Um, do I use Ragnarok here? No, do I use Eruption here so I can use a Ragnarok next turn? I mean, like, am I blowing potions on this fight? Um... Yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. Okay, so... Um... I really thought that'd be way more impressive than that. Whoops. <laughs> I can't believe I just wasted all my potions on this fucking stupid fight. <laughs> it wasn't even impressive. Look, guys, I was in a lot of danger here. It had to be done, okay? Choose one to three attacks of any... Uh, I mean... And they're attacks, right? Like, and they aren't permanent. I should have held out waiting for Lesson Learned as well. That was, that was very poorly played. I got Apotheosis. When I already have Lessons Learned. It takes too long to draw into and costs too much money right now. Yeah. Um Whenever you enter Wrath, draw two cards. Huh. No. I just want the potions. Because they are doubly effective. Ah, uh, I do not want this curse. Madness is not all that important. It's a little bit, I suppose. It's just they take card slots and that becomes very annoying. No, I'm not mana staffed. Oh, nice. Because I got the mask, I just gained a bunch of gold. Help me for the next shop. Okay, you got lesson learns. But I can't kill anyone here. Unless I... I mean, there are colorless potions that do damage. I guess I'll go for it. So this does 10... Plus... 6... So I'd have to use the strength potion. Oh no, I get it twice, of course. Of course. Vigilance upgrade, that's not too bad. Kinda wish I had a little bit of vigilance right now though. Because I have no defense. Balls. 
Um, I mean, prostrate is just obvious. Battle him sets up for later. Now, I guess I tranquilly and then draw. Okay, didn't get anything particularly interesting. Uh, just save the rest for later, I suppose. So I can enter into super mega state. I learned before that Ragnarok only counts as one attack. Okay, uh, it, they, they changed the rules. I swear to you that's not how that worked last time. Wreath of Flame. So Wreath of Flame with Ragnarok. It's just instant kill boss, and my deck is small enough. Do I get the rest first? No, I don't. Okay. So the goal is just to have uh, Ragnarok, Wreath of Frame, you know, and just some kind of form. And I'll smash them. Uh, it put me into calm. Get a little bit of block. So here it is, but I'm not in any kind of good form. If I had the mana, I do technically. Yeah. How much damage? It's like 200 damage. It's still worth doing. It's clearly not 200 damage. It's eight more, not eight times five. I do the math good. I couldn't get a miracle there because of my smites. Uh, there's no way lesson learned is going to be used here. But what if it is used here? Um, is there an... Uh, okay, so we use flurry, eruption, flurry. Um... Pray, flurry, smite, 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 smite. I'm going to hold on to it. I'm going to be greedy. Let the greed rule you. Um, so draw. If nothing else, it makes him weaker. So I didn't get eruption. I can't go into super mega prayer state. Do I just draw cards here? To hope to get eruption? I got it. Uh, I need one more mana. I get it with Nunchaku. So eruption. Okay. Um... I actually need to do the math here. Uh, so this is 8 onto here, so it's 18 times 5. That's 90. That's not as significant as I thought it was going to be. Because I'm weakened, that's why. I can do more with the Strength Potion, but that still doesn't kill him, and I can't use Lessons Learned. Uh, so I guess I just do this, this. Put myself into calm state. No, I could have used wreath. Ah, oh, but I was low on mana. Ah, oh, no, fuck it. Fine. Okay, so I can go into super mega prayer states. I uh, should draw cards first. Super mega prayer states. I want to be in a situation where I can use lessons learned. Um, if I use this, he dies. I use these two. No, the damage went up. Exact, exact lethal. Perfect. Nice. Makes you have to think when you have this card. Crush joints. Imply vulnerable. 
I mean, that can be interesting, but I like having a small deck. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards. Yeah, still, it's still a chunky deck. Whenever you enter Wrath, draw two cards. I don't think it's good enough. I don't enter Wrath enough. Do I want a card upgrade here or do I want to heal? Starting with Battle Him is always good. This having more card draw is also good. I don't think... I guess it's upgrade Ragnarok. This is not a fun fight. Um, I don't think lesson learned on a minion counts. Yeah, see, trigger when this card kills a non-minion enemy. I don't think I have the luxury in this fight to wait for lesson learn. Um, I also think I want to use the strength version. So I can kill the higher HP one. Use battle him. This not only causes damage to me, but gives me a wound. Which is not fun. Uh, so clearly I am using this. Which order do I want to enter this in? Eruption, then Vigilance. Lucky I have extra mana. So we kill this one. Then we kill this one. Do this. Uh, now nah, we're good enough on the defense. I mean, there's no point using to protect. Waste the mana. I'm getting closer to Divinity. I can't get into it right now, though. I can draw and potentially get into it. I cannot. Uh, this does a lot of damage, though. Um, can I kill? If I had any form that did increase damage, I could. The most here is 19 times 6. So the 114. No, it has to be less than that. 108. So 60 plus 54. Those are 114. Okay. Um, yes, yeah, so he doesn't die. So I guess I want to defend this out and wait for next turn. Is a lot of damage though. I'm getting how much? I haven't used devotion. I am drawing two more mantras, so if I use Devotion, I can put myself into the stance next turn. Yeah, so I just take a little bit of damage here, I, I guess. And putting myself into Tranquility would be good. Do I have enough damage next turn? No, I don't, so I, I have to use Ragnarok here. Nah, but he might... She might not attack. Yeah, she's not attacking. Yeah, I didn't need the damage there. So we... Flurry, Eruption. Flurry. Super Mega Death phase thing. Then she dies. Okay. Wasn't too bad. Bronze Scales is good. Whenever you scry, gain 4 block. No. Fear no evil. Deal 11 damage. If the enemy intends to attack, enter calm. That's awful. I guess if you have enough things that involve changing forms. Ice cream. Energy is now conserved between turns. That's going to make things so confusing. <laughs> um, no, we'll just upgrade a card. Screw the curse. I could afford to remove it though, but I have enough cards that need upgrading. Um...
I guess I want more card draw. So go up here for the shop. Mm, this is not good. What I really want upgraded is all these miracles. Yeah, this is awful. I'm just taking all this damage and there's nothing I can do about it. Fun! At least they have meat on the bone. Being used for the first time ever. Uh, it's debatable whether this works on these guys. I think it only works on the final hit. So, I want to enter tranquilly, get the mana. Ah, I lost the mana there, that sucks. That sucks. Did I have this before? No. I have no defensive cards. Am I dead? What? Wow. Um, there are ways that I don't die. But none of them very likely. So I need that to hit there three times. Because I can't even use Lesson Learned. Hmm. Oh, I can use Lesson Learned because I got Numchaku. Wow. That was close. Uh, things did not get better for me. Uh, I misplayed. Still works out fine. Uh, I didn't think that would put me into that form. Jesus, that was close. Uh, Consecrate is good. At least it was earlier. It probably isn't now. I don't want more powers because the boss is strong against powers. I still think I'm fine to go up here into this shop. Especially with a meal ticket. Offering me apotheosis again, eh, game? A. Removing a card. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. No, my deck is fine. I think I'm just too greedy with the battle hymns. Well, removing lessons learned would be fine, but I mean, it exhausts itself anyway. If there's something more to buy, I'd rather buy with it. Yeah, so I guess thread and needle. Another way to enter... Wrath wouldn't be too bad. I do have Wreath of Flame, which Tantrum works well with, but nah. I, mm. No. Just get. Honestly, no, we'll just get Cauldron. I can even use that. That's very good. Because the potions do double because of our Sacred Bark. Uh, eight plate armor or two skills? Nah, plate armor. Okay. Fair bottle is good. I can remove a card too now. <sighs> Prostrate might be a little slow. No. I'm just going to remove Lesson Learned. Fuck it. I've still got... Okay, we've got two more fights. So I could have used it a little bit, but no, nah, I don't think it's worth it. Okay. So uh, I need to use Protect here to stop this attack. I also need to set up other things. Hmm, this sucks. I might just take this hit. And save this for later. Because it hasn't applied strangle yet. It gets me meat on the bone. Mm-hmm. 
So I'm just going into calm. Uh, I'm gonna overdraw by one. Oh, by two? Oh, that was not good. That's not smart. So I'm in Divinity with nothing to really do in it. I say nothing as if this amount of damage I just did is nothing, but... So Strangle does 10 damage. Or Constrict. Yeah, Constrict. Um... Counting over the mana. It's insane. Okay, well, I should kill him here. Yeah, don't even need to enter Eruption or whatever. Liquid Memories. Is Liquid Memories better than two powers? No. It's better than uh, Essence of Steel, though. Yeah. Draw cards until your hand is full. My hand is always full. Fasting is... Nah, nah, fuck it. Too, too complicated. Oh, this isn't good. So they're all charging up. And then I do something cool next turn. They're all attacking. This could be painful. I can't go into Divinity. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this gets me mana, it gets me draw cards. Um, I might end up having to draw Ragnarok here with Liquid Memories. Um, yeah. Maybe there was another way to do that. If there was, I didn't see it. Uh, yeah. So I just heal here. Okay. Not a very good opening hand. So I may as well look at the powers first. Uh, another devotion? Another battle him? I have two. Mm. Yeah, I guess we'll just. Oh, wait a second. I don't need more powers because it makes him stronger. Well, I'm. I'm very fortunate that this is a. An earlier. Uh, ascension mode. Had I made that mistake in a later one, I would have died, pretty much immediately. So I can't even go into Divinity right now, which is unfortunate. There's no reason not to use Miracles. Because the mana gets carried over anyway. Didn't think of that until right this second. Uh, if I go into Eruption, I cannot leave it. Yeah, I'm about to get my ass kicked. This is bad. Thankfully, I have Fairy in a bottle. Otherwise, I would be concerned. Okay. Kill him. Didn't draw damage. So we have to leave this state. I can enter Divinity again. May as well build the mana. Using these unnecessary because I retain them. Uh, 
I need Ragnarok. Hopefully I draw it with Insight. Didn't draw it. So to draw it, I'd have to empty my mines. Yeah, could have played that differently. Of course he dies still, but definitely a uh, suboptimal play there. Still have to do with his next form. Uh, I immediately go into Mantra next turn. Uh, into Divinity. Okay, uh, so Ragnarok does quite a bit of damage. Could have drew, drew first, hypothetically. Yeah, definitely should have drawn first. Just kind of figured it didn't matter. I guess it's going to end up mattering a tiny amount. Guess it won't. Cool. Suboptimal last hand, but that was uh, easy. Except for that one time where I almost died. Yeah, except that one time with those, those blobs. But yeah, good shit. Gain three block for each card in your hand. That's pretty good. For two mana, I wonder what it is when it's upgraded. Choose one. Gain six plated armor. Three strength or 25 gold. For three mana though? Hmm. Having ways to use cards for free. Or like bring them back from your discard pile and stuff. At the start of your turn, scry three. That's pretty epic. Very interesting. Very good. Um, do I have more energy now to play Chaos? A little bit. Yeah, let's see how we go. Thanks for watching, and while I'm sure you're eager to get the endless other videos on this channel, I'd like to take a moment of your time to wish you all the best.